Hey everybody, Will Fix here. I put a crypto course together for you. These nine different lessons I got from the xrp.org site and I, I used all of their information on a general teaching that they do. It's not copyrighted, so I haven't infringed on anything. I hope you enjoy it. Go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So here we go. This first module contains three lessons. Lesson one, what is blockchain? Lesson two, what is cryptocurrency? And lesson three, how do transactions work on blockchain? And exploring blockchain consensus mechanisms. Lesson one, what is a blockchain? What is a blockchain? Infrastructure for today's digital economy. A simple blockchain analogy. Community beginnings. Long ago, the families that founded our community had to trade with each other to get the resources they needed. The milkman would trade milk for the farmer's eggs. The hunter would trade meat for the tailor's clothes and so on. The confidence and trust between the craftsmen and farmers in our community began to grow. So they would make promises and IOUs. I will give you two chickens now and in return you will give me six eggs next week. But with so many promises being made, it became hard to keep track of who owed what to whom. So our community came up with a system to keep records of everyone's credits. We appointed a ledger keeper to keep track of all the promises made between the traders. This system worked well for a while, but the ledger keeper soon began to manipulate the system for his own benefit. He would charge a fee for every promise made, accept bribes to change the terms of agreements and so on. This couldn't continue. The community worked tirelessly to create a new system, one where everyone had their own ledger. This public ledger system saw all trades occur at the community square where each trade was recorded on a ledger held by each family. Every Sunday, the entire community would gather together to compare ledgers and make sure everything tallied up. Sometimes one family's ledger would contain different information from the rest of the community. In this case, we would compare all ledgers to reach a consensus on which information was correct. With everyone in the community having their own copy of the ledger, it became impossible for one person to manipulate the system. The community had finally found a way to trade fairly and securely. The same principle applies to blockchain. It is a decentralized and distributed system that allows for secure, transparent, and tamper-proof transactions. In a blockchain, real-world assets can be represented as well as currencies, the most common application. What does it mean to be distributed and decentralized? A blockchain is decentralized because there is no central authority that controls the network. Instead, the network is powered by a global community of users who work together to verify and approve transactions. Anyone can join and participate in a public blockchain. Distributed means that the ledger is not stored in one central location that can be hacked or manipulated. Instead, it is spread out across multiple computers or nodes around the world. What are the benefits of these traits? The fact that blockchain technology is decentralized and distributed makes it incredibly trustless. Essentially, we aren't forced into trusting the actions of a central authority that can be corrupted. There is also an increase in security because there is no central point of failure that can be targeted by hackers. Plus, 
Because every transaction is approved by the global community of users, it becomes very difficult to tamper with. Another benefit of being distributed is that it makes the system more resilient to outages. If one computer server or node goes down, the network can still function because there are multiple other nodes to take its place. This is in direct contrast to a centralized system where a single entity can cancel transactions, manipulate data, or bring the entire system to a halt. A centralized system is also much more vulnerable to outages because if the central entity goes down, the entire system does as well. That concludes lesson number one. Lesson two, what is a cryptocurrency? What is cryptocurrency? Digital money for the new global economy. How do cryptocurrencies work with blockchains? Cryptocurrencies are assets that exist on a blockchain. Public blockchains are decentralized and immutable ledgers that serve as a historical record of all transactions on the network. Each blockchain has its own rules, protocols, and tokenomics. If the cryptocurrency or digital asset token is a train, the blockchain protocol is the track that it's running on. In other words, the blockchain protocol is the technological and cryptographic foundation for how digital assets are built and transactions are logged. Cryptocurrencies can be kept safe using a cryptocurrency wallet. Unlike a physical wallet, your cryptocurrency doesn't actually live inside the wallet. Instead, your wallet stores your private key which is used to speak to the blockchain and access your cryptocurrency. There are hardware wallets, physical devices like USB drives, software wallets, which are apps that live on your computer or phone, or even paper wallets, which are printed out keys and QR codes. Other types of digital assets and tokens. There are many other types of digital assets or tokens that exist on their own blockchain protocols. Non-fungible tokens or NFTs. NFTs are tokens that represent a unique asset such as a piece of digital art or a collectible. They are called non-fungible because each asset is unique and cannot be replaced by another identical token. For example, there can only be one Mona Lisa painting, and it's the same with NFTs. Security tokens, or STOs. Security tokens are digital assets that confirm ownership rights, such as equity in a company. These tokens usually give investors access to a company's profits and can be traded on secondary markets. STOs are regulated by governments and must comply with securities laws. Stable coins. Stable coins are digital assets that are pegged to a stable asset, such as the US dollar. The purpose of stable coins is to provide a way to store value on a blockchain without the volatility that is typically associated with cryptocurrencies. It's vital that all stable coins are backed by the stable asset they are pegged to. For example, a USD-backed stablecoin should have $100 worth of USD in reserve for every $100 worth of stablecoins that are in circulation. That concludes lesson number two. Lesson three, how do transactions work on a blockchain and explaining blockchain consensus mechanisms. How do transactions work on a blockchain? Exploring blockchain consensus mechanisms. Deciding on one chain of events. 
achieving consensus in decentralized ledgers. In a decentralized ledger, there is no one central figure that confirms transactions. Instead, the entire network must work together to decide which transactions should be accepted and allowed to flow through the ledger. This process is called consensus. What is a consensus mechanism? A consensus mechanism refers to the set of rules or protocols used by the nodes, also known as validators, within a distributed network, like a blockchain, to reach an agreement or consensus on the current state of the network. This determines how transactions are processed. Understanding proof of work or POW versus proof of stake or POS. Consensus can be achieved through various mechanisms with the most common being proof of work and proof of stake. Let's explore the differences between these two methods. Proof of work, often abbreviated as POW, relies on computational puzzles that miners must solve to propose new transactions and add them to the blockchain. While this method ensures transaction security, it consumes significant energy and slows down the transaction process. Proof of stake, or POS, requires participants to pledge and stake their cryptocurrency to propose and validate transactions. This approach is more energy efficient compared to proof of work and gives an advantage to those holding more cryptocurrency. Unlike POW and POS, the XRP ledger uses a unique consensus mechanism now known as the XRPL consensus mechanism. In the XRPL consensus mechanism, the majority of nodes, about 80%, must agree on the validity and order of transactions. This collaborative agreement ensures a secure and efficient transaction validation process. While consensus mechanisms are fundamental to ensuring the integrity and security of a blockchain, smart contracts are fundamental to extending a blockchain to be used for more than just a database. In the next lesson, you will learn what smart contracts are and how they are being used across various DeFi and NFT applications. That concludes lesson number three. It's the end of module one with lessons one, two, and three. Next will be module two, which contains these three lessons. Lesson four, what is a smart contract? Lesson five, what's the difference between 2.0 and web 3.0 development? And lesson six, how does blockchain technology improve payments? That concludes module one and the first three lessons. There are nine lessons total and three modules. The, tap the link right up here and that will take you to the second module. Also, there's a link that has a playlist of all three lessons that you'll also see at the top. It'll be one of them on one side and one of them on the other, but you'll see them here at the end of this video. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know the vocals are a little herky-jerky. You know, it's a synthesized me, synthesized voice that's converting text. So sorry that it's a little jerky, but it is a good quality course made by XRP on their XRP.org site. So I hope you're enjoying it. Um, see you next video.